This big storm came and swept me out to a class 4 island, and let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then, the water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck, and before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary. I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate mean by Class 4? I've never heard of that. It's a classification the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy. An estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes 1 through 3 have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So... Class 4 administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want, but no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class 4 administrative zones? I've heard of 10 such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey, but I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're going to want to be prepared. Demons! There's more of them! A whole band of them rampaging through Warg Forest! There was already one dangerous demon in those woods, and now we have more! And they're still on the loose! A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but... What do these demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this, and don't leave port for a while that. How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck. If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. First mate! You're all right! Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Aizen! Y you stay calm too, okay? <laughs> and you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir. And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, the sickness was tiny potatoes. All right, then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. 
<sighs> the Pirate's Creed, huh? There's worse out there. Is that a fighting arena of some sort? I don't see any demons around. Look! There's something spewing out of the metal! I sense a really malicious force emanating from it. It's probably the vengeful spirits of those who fought and died here looking for glory! Ooh. Thanks for that. Now I've got goosebumps. Let's try not to wind up as more vengeful spirits.
peculiar air about you. <sighs> Looks like we won't be joining the party. I can see why this place is the stuff of cautionary bedtime stories. Not to mention why the Abbey's keeping way the hell away. We shouldn't let our guard down. But this place could still be a good chance to hone our combat skills. Indeed. Most everything we've fought here seems to follow a pattern. This is a good place for tactical training. If we ever end up on another island like this one, we should probably come prepared for the kinds of enemies we'll face. that wasn't the real I freed. But I'm glad everyone on the ship is feeling better. Yeah. Though it sounds like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again. <laughs> what about Eleanor? She took it too. And her face went all... Wah! I don't mean how she looked. I mean how she actually feels. Oh. Well, she looks like she feels better too. Good. You're worried about her, aren't you, Velvet? No, it's nothing like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... ripen? Mogilu, quit giving Loppy set confusing thoughts. <laughs> no trouble expressing those feelings, I see. is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. Everything the Abbey does, everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. <sighs> something wrong? Whoa! Easy there. Just asking. S sorry I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah. Just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, I drank my Salatoma juice. Ah. Tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I despise them. Ten years ago, a group of them attacked my village. They destroyed everything. And everyone. Including your family? Yes. The only family I had at that point was my mother. And in all the chaos, she... All I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. called a pangyon, a type of bird native to this area. Pangyon. Their meat is succulent and tender, and makes a lovely stew. Wow! What's it taste like? 
You'd eat that poor thing? Savage. You're one to talk, demon. It was one of my mother's specialties. All right, enough of the chit-chat. Magilu, what's this grimoire friend of yours like? Hmm, well, how do I put it? <sighs> oh... You know, like that. Like what? <sighs> well, to put it in a way those of meager imagination can understand, Grim's got a sort of listless, aristocratic air about her. A noblewoman in her twilight, you could say. Huh. So you mean, like, a woman, but different from Velvet and Eleanor. <laughs> You're not wrong there. I tell you what, just keep an eye out for a grown woman. A uh, grown woman? Okay, I got it. Well, since we got her name, we could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. <sighs> What's up, kiddo? Magilu, you're a grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, mine broke. Bagow! Chapoom! Bye-bye! Your feelings broke? Come on. Let's question the townsfolk. Scout. So, how do you like our island? Nice and laid back, right? It's quite a bit different from Logris. This place was even more relaxed before the opening. 
But recently, a lot of our young folk have gone starry-eyed about the city and left us in the lurch. It's still better than it was when the demons first started showing up. We have the Abbey to thank for that. And because people are traveling more now, the need for ships has skyrocketed. Our lumber industry is booming. In other words, when the money started flowing, people let it go to their heads? That and those exorcists and soldiers from the bigger cities, they really seemed sophisticated. People from the other islands wear different clothes and have things we don't, you know? Getting worked up and worked over by what's trendy. Is that foolishness not the very definition of youth? If this keeps up, our island's traditions will fade away. That's what worries me. I understand how you feel, but you have to give young people the freedom to be themselves. Sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today! Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No! It is you who has captured my devotion, my darling! There's no one else I want but you! What? M me But my life is in service to the Empyreans, I... Hush! I want you to look at me the way I look at you! Hold me, darling! Smother me in your embrace! Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please, forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying! To a priest! How could you? Oh, no. I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin! Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. Ah! I don't want to forgive you! Come, sinner! And repent your wit. Who? No, my son. But it's not. <sighs> yeah. Have you ever wielded violence? No. All I wield are my swords. Well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. I've still got a long way to go. But the next time, I'll kill him. Uh, no, no, you have it all wrong. You must repent for how you've used your swords. Oh, I get it. I need to improve my cutting technique, right? That's not what I meant either. Ah, then what do you mean? It's a priest's job to guide the layman, right? You'll have to start speaking more clearly if you want anyone to trust your advice. Get your act together, man. Y yes, I'll reflect upon the error of my ways. Wait, what?
It's become common practice to use South Gan lumber for shipbuilding, but there's a reason. Our trees really are the best for it. Natan trees only grow in South Gand. Their wood is light, tough, and doesn't rot. Perfect for shipbuilding. You know your stuff. Long ago, before people knew how to build seafaring vessels, Midgan and South Gan were separate countries. Then our ancestors fashioned rafts out of Natan logs and floated all the way to Midgan. A Midgan craftsman, amazed to see a humble raft cross the open sea, returned with our ancestors here to South Gand. He had used the natant logs to build a large, sturdy ship. Thanks to him, commerce took off between Midgan and South Gand, and the age of exploration began. The excitement of a new age had everyone floating on air, but within mere decades, Midgan declared war on South Gand. Ironically enough, it was ships made from trees from air islands that enemies used to invade them. The fighting continued for a long time, but in the end, Midgand emerged the victor. Our islands were occupied. As hard as things were, our ancestors still liked to joke about it. They'd say, age of exploration, more like age of exploitation. <laughs> when things were that bad, they could still joke about it? South Ganders have always been a cheerful bunch. We tend to look for the silver lining in every cloud. It may not seem like it these days, but South Gan used to be a place where the laughter would never cease. Some people even used to call it Shenanigand. Shenanigand? This must have been a really fun place.